Hello viewers, welcome once again to my channel. We are on the series of coordinate geometry 2, the circle. We will be treating the length of a tangent in this episode. Previous ended episode, we find how to find the equation of the tangent and the normal. Here we want to find how long will the tangent be from external source or external point to the circle. So let's see some of the steps we are going to follow. One, so from the given equation of the circle, identify the center of the circle, which is always denoted by AB and the radius R of the circle. So first of all, you'll be given the equation of the circle. Find the center of that equation. Then find the radius of that equation. Two, from the given point, which is the external point x, y. So from the given point x, y, draw a tangent to the circle from the point to the center. So from the point, the tangent, from the point to the center. To form a right angle triangle, we already uh, know that a tangent meets a radius at the right angle. Every tangent drawn to meet the radius, they form a right angle there. So if you join the three points to form a triangle, that becomes a right angle triangle. So now finding the length, we are going to use the Pythagoras theorem to find the length of the tangent. Simply put, if we indicate here as our radius, the distance between the center and the external point, let's use D. We are using, looking for the length, right? So let's use L to represent the length of this tangent. So by Pythagoras theorem, the longest side square, which is D square, equals to the sum of the two shorter sides. That is from the Pythagoras theorem. The hypotenuse square equals to the sum of the two shorter sides, which would be the opposite and the adjacent. But we are paying attention to the length, right? So let's make the length the subject. That simply means that L square will be equal to transposing D and R to come here become D square minus what? R square. So the moment I know the, the distance between these two points, center and the external source, and the radius. Don't forget, the radius will be derived from the equation of the, the circle. And how do we get this distance? The distance is then after we get the center, then the distance. So let's see if I have the point AB. How will I find the distance? The distance is going to be the square root of x1, x2, y1, y2. So we're having x minus a all square plus what? y minus b all square. The y values will be subtracted. The x values will be subtracted. So this is how I'll find the distance. So after finding the distance, put it here. After getting the radius from the center, equation or the circle equation just do a substitution then voila you are there to go so if you like you can square both sides to make the square root cancel and the d should come here meaning d square will be equal to x minus a all square y minus b all square so this could be for distance square this could also mean that your l square will be equal to D, which is going to be what? X minus A, all square, Y minus B, all square, minus what? R square. Does this look familiar? It looks like, almost like the standard equation of a circle, which is all of this to be equal to the R. Meaning if the R is taken to the other side, this will become the equation of a circle. So we can use this or we find the distance separately, radius separately, then we substitute. I believe the concept is clear because if we take in the question to see how best we can employ this principle.
Okay, so let's see. Find the length of the tangent from the point H2 to the circle which has this equation. So don't forget, we our uh, method or the steps we talk about, we need what? The center. We also need the radius, right? So let's go ahead and find the center from here. In our previous episode, we learned how to find the center using the completing the square. X squared. We are going to have our x squared minus 8, sorry, 4x plus y squared minus 8y equals to 5. As in sending the 5 to the other side, we complete the square of this. That will give you x squared minus 2, half of this square. The x, then the square will be here. Then the square of the 2 will give us 4. So 4 will be going to the other side. Then we have plus y minus, this is going to be half of this. That will be 4. So all square. Then, then we have equals to 5, 4. Half of this is 4. 4 square will be 16. So this is our 16. Right here we are going to have x minus 2 all square y minus 4 all square equals to 25. Comparing this to the general, uh, the standard equation, our center, which is the AB, will be 2 and what? 4. And our radius, which is going to be the whole of this, represent what? Uh, R square. So this R square is the same as what? 25. And I believe we can tell that if I find the square root of this, your r will be the square root of what? 25. So if you find the square root of this, I believe you get 5. Okay. So it means the radius is found. The center is also found. 2, 4. Do we know the center point? Yes, we know as 8 and what? 2. So can I find d, the distance between the center and the external point, that will be easy to find, right? The distance will be the square root of 2 minus 4. All square plus 8 minus 2. All square. I believe I have the square root right away, negative 2 square. That will be 4, right? This will give us 6. And that is going to be 6 squared. That will be 30. That will give us 36, right? So if we add 4 to 36, that will give us what? 40. Meaning the distance will be the square root of 40. And this can also be written as d squared equals to 40. So now the d squared is known. r squared is known. What are we looking for? By Pythagoras theorem, L squared equals to D squared minus what? R squared. So we substitute the values of D squared and R squared in that. L squared equals to D squared, which is what? 40 minus what? The R squared. And what is the R squared? The whole of that is 25, right? So I have 25. L will be equal to... The square root of, would that be 15? 15, I think that would be 15. So now the, the length of uh, the tangent here is going to be root 15, which we know could be somewhere closer to 4. Or we can say 3 point something closer. So whatever unit of the dimensions we are having, this could be a root of 15. Or the use of calculator, we can get the length mark. So if we check carefully, all that we need from this is the radius and the center from the equation of a circle. Getting that, find the distance and finding the length become easy. Right? Good. I believe this concept is correct. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, and comment. Bye.